It does have a wildernessy taste. It really does. Forest wilderness. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I and y'all know, at least my fans, you all know that uh, I'm always sleeping in the woods. So, wow. Uh, how many more do we have to test? Because I'm about to be. I'd have. I'd have to say yeah. Dumb. Really? Yeah. Well, you did have that big ass bottle of cheap vodka. So. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, hey, I'll help. You know what happens when you're in pain and you're a veteran with PTSD? You drink, drink cheap, alcohol. Cheap vodka. It's okay. Oh, it's all right. I mean, it's legal. It's, and I'm of age. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, and I'm in my element. I mean, I'm outdoors. Are you, are you getting this sick? Is my, this is, uh, no, absolutely. See, look at this. No, I thought I'm the men I thought but, the men would be able to handle the no, fruit no, no, beers. No, and they but, can't handle the fruit No, I can handle the fruit beer. The Open them all. As we a matter of fact, you're trail. not allowed to save this one. We got to try them all. No. Oh, wait. He does, Seth doesn't want that one. Oh, Seth doesn't want that one. He no. said no. no. All right. So we'll save it for later. She well, you know one. what? I like the blackberry. I really want to try it, does, it, though. It does taste like you just picked some blackberries in Sonoma County, and you just fucking, you threw the thorns and the leaves and all that shit <laughs> right in. And the dirt. And right the there dirt. in. Right there in it. It's right there. green, though. Like, who you were talking about, You're talking about a different green. beer. I yes. like this one. That but you know great. what? It's it is it is a, this one it's not as dry as I would as as the um, as it advertises. It's yeah. not as effervescent. But you know what? I think this is one of those beers where just, uh, like I've had this. I've had this in the brewery and I think when you pour it from the tap, if you don't have a system where your canning is absolutely perfect, then it's easy for so you to lose the um, the integrity the of the beer. And we've already experienced that with the what was the other one the high pre high, high priestess yeah. Yeah. and the black the blackberry hebu. So, but I've had this on tap, and it's fucking delicious. So you know maybe a little bit is lost in the canning, and that's okay. I mean shit happens. Some bad. places can can really nail it down, and some places um, throw in the thorns, you know, and it's okay. You know, I I gotta say the uh, the brothers. I really enjoyed going the to the East Brothers They've was got the shit. Some great beer. Now this beer is um, there's a uh, but even yeah. like I just I'm not burped. impressed with this. I'm not impressed with this. I just yeah. burped and all um, that blueberry came back up. But yeah, you as you were saying, Seth. Uh, oh. Yeah, I'm not impressed with this one. I'm just not. Yeah, I. I um, it's definitely the first not one I, that we had. Yeah. The mango, the was, mango the was the shit. Was good. Mango the was mango the was the bomb. The mango was the bomb. Don't mix it with vodka. No. Uh, mix it with rum. <laughs> Ooh. No, that sounds good. No, just a little bit. Just Maybe some Malibu. No. You take a can and you mix it with a thimble of rum. Just a thimble of rum. I'm telling you, it'll be great. Mm -hmm. Trust uh, me. I'm okay, not a so that's all right. So now we're going to see how that one holds up against this one. Now this one has all the bells and whistles. Yeah. This one is the orange pop, uh, the sour ale brewed with blackberries, oranges, vanilla, and milk sugar. This one should be a little sweeter, 6.6%. 6 .6%. Right um, another crazy psychedelic, psychedelic crazy, oh my God. Yay, you call me six eyes. <laughs> uh-huh, yeah. <laughs> so crazy. Who's he talking to? I don't know. I don't know. It's all right. He can keep talking. Yeah. <laughs> We're gonna. He's gonna keep talking to himself. Right. I got We're a nine millimeter here. We're gonna or, keep. No, I'm sorry. It's uh, seven twenty. Uh, ten ten p. Sorry. For those of you on this all camera, right. this camera, that camera, this camera, that camera. Right. Everybody got it. I am looking forward to this. Another beautiful color, almost I identical. Def. Yeah. Very, you can. You it can looks even. a little bit lighter. It looks like strawberry. That? It looks like strawberry. Now, this one actually has an aroma to it. Yeah. I, I don't think smell. I can finish this one, so... Throw uh, it out. Throw it out. I can smell the hops. Thank you. All right. Uh, hold on. Pour and out. I can kind of smell this the sweetness. For the seagulls. For the seagulls. Let's and get for them. the homies. For that... Yeah, that was one for the homies. Well, that one was for the wow. homies. That was for okay. the seagulls. Really now this sour. One, oh, too sour? Oh, really sour. I'm you know only, what I mean? I'm only on one camera. I need to scoot in closer. Yeah, I'm not a huge fan of this one either. I'm with fucking it, it. throwing that out. Bye. 
All right, so now, so now the blackberry. I don't like the, black... the smell, but let me taste Throw it. it. Throw it out. Throw it out. Really? Yeah. You want yeah. me taste it? And you know what? Yeah. We are gonna open the key lime. Me and you are gonna drink it because we need to rinse that fucking taste out of our mouth. That was horrible. Oh, that I'll tastes like. Um... No, no, no. Yeah, just to rinse yeah, it yeah, out. Yeah. yeah, you could, you could, you yep. swish it, yep. spit it, swish it. Oh no, spit I'll, it. I'll try it because there's been times where I've tried beers that I never would have tried, and I was like, holy shit. Um, there's a place up in Eugene. They had a cider flight, and you guys you didn't get like five it. Five different ciders. I did. Two thumbs and down. All one they had up. was five different ciders. The one, that, the one cider that they had was habanero, and it tasted like a, like a spicy a cider? watermelon. Hi, a, a habanero cider. A habanero spi- uh, I cider. Love habanero cider. The raspberry, the the blackberry, the all the other ciders that they had pretty much tasted like watered down Kool Aid or crap. But the habanero cider was the fucking shit. And I don't like peppers. So I look forward to uh, trying this slime. Did you say crap or crack? Crap. Okay. Because both of them are disgusting. Yes, I agree. And bad for you. Oh, yeah. Um, I didn't really like that beer. It was... I didn't like it either. You know, I mean... But That's like, horrible. if you're an alcoholic, once again, for the brothers out there in the street, and I'm not a fan it, of that one. Either. Oh, but it's a seven dollar beer, you know. Now this one I do like. I don't think it's cold enough at this point because be. it's been out for a while. But if this was colder, I think this uh, would be a really good beer. Anyway, this is the Lime Thirty Lager, keyed with the key limes. As you know, I love key limes. Um, <laughs> proudly independent. Oh, this is coming out of Fresno, California. Hashtag cold beer live music third thing. Hashtag beer tainment. Oh, you were gonna save that. Well, I'm not now because we needed it. We needed it to yeah, get had, rid of that fucking. We had to wipe fucking... the palate out. So he we had to get rid of this shit. Yeah. So we're now so, now we're drinking it. Yeah. Now now somebody knows what they're talking about. You well, no, you know what you're about. Well, this was the one. This was after. The... Okay. Yeah. We didn't so, know. We didn't want it between. Save yeah. a little. We did it. Save a little after, bit in case we need another you, palate cleanser. That this was just in case one of these other beers sucks. Well, all we other the the only last one is the orange cream ale. I'm looking. No. I'm well, really that looking sucks, forward to this one. I this one I want to try out first. But now that would go good with vodka too. I like this. I don't think that it has the key lime flavor that I'm looking for, especially being a big fan of key lime pies. Yeah, no, no. It's no. it's not quite yeah. um, tart enough. But I'm glad that it's a lager and not another sour because I don't think we can handle another sour right now. It was it was a little bit too much sour. Yeah, this, yeah very, a little bit. Yeah, between the 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 peach yeah. and then the fucking pop. It needs more oh, cream. Yeah. yeah. Well, we're gonna get cream in it. <laughs> All right. Yes. We're gonna get cream in it very shortly. But I'd like to finish reviewing the Lime Thirty Lager. I love the can. I love the label. That's really wow. cute. It's really funny. Um, kind of cartoony. It says our logo represents the rebirth of our city, our brewery, and our lives. Believes time is the of the is the utmost precious non-renewable sort resource. Take the time to bring it full circle. Live a little and be entertained. Hashtag beertainment. So obviously this this company is trying to kind of create like I guess a little bit of a movement, and that's cool. And if you want to bring the fun back to craft beer, I say fucking do it because yeah, there's try. too many try. there's too many fucking nerds out here trying to make it too serious and have fun. and have, have fucking fun, fun with it. Because, have fun with it. You know, like I myself I'm not a fan of lime, so I didn't like that. It was way too sour for me and I didn't like the lime taste. But who knows? I didn't like I didn't think I'd like the habanero cider that I tried back in Eugene. You never fucking know. You right. never fucking know. I like this beer. I like all opinions. I think that, unfortunately, with the amount of time that we've been out here, the, the beers are now warm, mm. and that's that's part of the problem. They're a little bit flat, and that might be because they've been in my fridge for so long. It could be any of those things, but honestly, a good fucking canned beer should last two years. I'm fucking sorry. Get your game together. You know, take a note from East Brother Beer Company. Mm. A good it's beer should two years. East yeah, it Brothers. should. It should. It should. It should okay. last two years. You know, a good canning or a good bottling should last about two years. Um, and you can tell that some of the younger companies, maybe they're not able to do it just yet. Maybe they don't have the resources. Maybe they don't have the technique. Some of this stuff comes with time, and that's okay. 
that's fucking okay. We're all learning here. I'm learning. I learn more about craft beer every fucking day. I don't think I know it all. Yes, I'm the fucking beer queen, but I am teachable. And, you know, I don't brew. I don't work in this industry. I don't have a Cicerone. I'm just a fucking chef. I know what's right. I know what's not. I know when it's off. I know when it's on. I know when it's balanced. I know when it's not. And, you know, that's the only perspective that I can give you. But nonetheless, I personally like this. I just don't think it, it definitely has a lime flavor, but just not the key lime flavor that I'm looking for. A key lime is very distinctive, and I just don't think they have it. But this is great to drink after that fucking minute, orange yeah. pop. Does it say key lime? <laughs> no, yeah, yeah, it, it the says blackberry key. orange pop. The orange pop was horrible. Well, yeah, it's got a definite lime flavor. It, oh, it, does. it does not have it a does. key lime flavor. You got to have a cream to it and a, and a soft, smooth. But it, it's definitely limey, and it tastes great. Um, Govna! I'm going to finish this one off. I like it. We got probably about a third of a can left, so I'm going to save that. That's going to be what I drink just to, like, slam it before we go. And uh, we're going to get to that um, orange cream in a minute.